Hey, this is Chris with vidsociety.com and today I'm going to be doing a Max Mel's review for you. You can see I'm in the dashboard right now. I'm going to give you a demo and show you some of the features and options available. With this tool, it's very important to understand what the upsells are because a lot of the features and options that I have here, you may or may not have depending on whether or not you picked up any of the additional upsells. You'll be able to find full details of those as well as the pricing and even pick up uh, a huge list of bonuses through the link that's directly under this video on my website. Okay, so here we are inside of Max Mails. Now what this is, is a full blown email marketing system that's great for beginners and even for advanced users as you can create some really uh, neat things here using the funnels and the journeys, your own landing pages, you can create pop-ups, bars, and of course, send mail broadcast. Now, the way this tool works, is you first have to set up an SMTP server. An SMTP server is a server that will send out mail for you. These are very cheap and there are a lot of them. So to do this, all you have to do, once you access and log into your account, you come up to the gear icon and click it. Click on business settings. Once you're in here, you wanna click on mail settings. And right here is your SMTP settings and you wanna click this arrow for add server. And you can see here, it gives you several options where you can add some of the most popular SMTP uh, services. And if none of these fit, you can even use Gmail SMTPs um, by just clicking on SMTP right here. And what this will do is just allow you to use any SMTP server, but you just have to enter the information here provided by that server and you'll find all that within your account that you set up. Now, once you have this set up, you wanna come over here to the from and reply email setting. And what this is gonna do is it's going to allow you to choose who this email is being sent from uh, and the name that it's sent from. So I have mine set up, the email address is being sent from me. So when it gets delivered in their inbox, they're gonna see that it's from me. And that's what this purpose is. And then you can also set up bounce settings here if you want to and the footer settings of your mail. I didn't set up neither one of these. Now, once these are done, what you can do is go back and what you can do is, let me go ahead and just click on mail here. And this here is gonna show you all the mails that you've sent, all the email broadcasts that you've sent. And it's really neat because it gives you the analytics. It tells you how many contacts it was sent to, how many of them were opened, and you can click here on analytics to even get a deeper breakdown of each person and what they done, whether they complain, unsubscribe, if they uh, clicked it, if they opened it, you can also see their location. Uh, the link activity, subscriber activity, and unsubscriber activity. So just as you would find in really expensive monthly cost autoresponder services, Max Mills has all these features as well. Now, if we go up here to the top, you're gonna see all of your options in Max Mills. And the first one is your audience. Now, this is all of your emails. These are your list and your subscribers and how you can organize them. So here you can see your list. So the first thing you wanna do is if you already have email addresses is you wanna come here to list and you wanna add in your email contact. So we can go here to list and you can uh, click on new list right here and then you can add or import your contacts which you can see right now I have one that I set up just a little bit ago with over 1200 emails that's currently processing. And then this is the default one which basically just has my email address to it so I can do this demo for you guys. So after that, you can add segments, you can add tags and assign them to each contact. And the reason you may wanna do this is because when you send emails, you may only wanna send it to select people or select groups. And that's the purpose of segments and tags. Now, next is campaigns. So depending on your upsells and, and what you grab here, you may or may not have some of these features but the funnel and journey is more for an advanced user and it has some really really nice features to it if you are going to plan out a whole project on wanting to really dominate with email marketing so what we can do is click on new funnel journey and it's asking you what's your goal for this just to get leads for more sales webinar registrations leads on websites a product deal launch or just a follow-up and so we can click on any of these. I'm not gonna go through the full process on all this or this video would be very long, uh, but you can set up these. Let me just uh, go into this one here and you can see here that this here is currently the pre-launch funnel that I have set up. 
Uh, basically, the journey is full path for your subscribers to take once they subscribe. So what's going to happen is they come to the landing page, maybe they register, they're shown the landing page, they're added to the list, uh, they're redirected, and then the end of the journey. So you can add or remove different steps and have your subscribers to follow those as they subscribe. And there's different categories you can choose here depending on what you want your subscribers to do. Okay, so next what we have is the pages. Now this is like a landing page builder, which is really cool if you currently subscribe to like lead pages or anything like that for a monthly price. This is something you can get included with Max, uh, Max Mails. And basically it allows you to create all different kinds of pages, including bonus pages or anything else. So here's one that I set up real quick. And if we go here to view it, it's basically a bonus page that you can use for promoting affiliate products and you can add it has its own editor where you can come in here you can take out any of the stuff add any stuff and add bonuses and your affiliate link to it okay so after that we have the pop-up and bar and these are what you can add to your websites to help collect leads and so if we click on plus pop-up and bar we can give it a name I'm just going to type in test here real quick And it's going to show us different uh, types of pop-ups and bars that we can use. And we can see here, let's change this from 8 to 24 so we can see more of these. And so here's a selection of them. They are very neat, very well done. And there's different kinds of them. So what you can choose here is like, first of all, the position. Like where do you want the pop-up or the bar to show up? Do you want it to be a splash like right in the middle? Do you want it to be a light box that pops up? A sticky bar on the top or bottom? Or like a notification box? So sticky bars work well. If I choose that, it's going to show me the sticky bars. I can come over here and uh, preview one of them. And this is what it would look like on my website. And if they enter their email address here, it would get added into my uh, contact list here for max mails which i can then uh, send emails to so not only can you send emails with this and create the journeys and all that but you can create the landing pages used to collect the emails to do all of your marketing too which is going to save you a lot of money in the long run from subscribing to multiple services and you can see here they have a really they have a lot of really nice ones uh, look at this one here and so once you have that done and get it set up that's all you have to do and then uh, last what we have is our mail so if we click on mail this is where you're going to send your actual campaign so what we can do is we can come over here and click on new mail and we'll just call this one test create it and then as with all the others there's a bunch of templates here we can choose from I normally never use templates like this when I send out emails I always send plain text emails what you do and how you do it's completely up to you I would just choose plain template here now the editor itself, I kind of wish it was a little more advanced, a little more where you could do more with it, but for simplicity purposes, it does work well. So this is the default layout and all you have to do is click this plus button and you can turn on or off the blocks right here. So right now we have headline uh, and this headline's in block number one. So we can turn off the headline and then if we don't want the block up here, we can turn it off too. And then we have our block number two, which has a paragraph in it. And then block number three, which has this and an image. So I'm going to turn off all three of these and just leave the paragraph because that's all I want. Now, to edit it, all you do is click in the box and you can start typing. So what we can do is start typing. Hey, I'll do hey. And then we can personalize it. So if they enter their first name when you collect their email address, you can actually personalize it. We can click this and we'll do name. And then you can write your message below here and then we can say uh, check out my new video on YouTube and then you can highlight whatever text you want add a link and we'll just send it to YouTube and then you can also do a spam check so if we click this uh, we're good it says so we can save it as a template and use it later if we want we can preview it I'm just going to go ahead and click next all right then when we're here we get to choose what list we're going to send it to I'm going to send it to my email address if you have tags assigned this is where you're going to select the tags uh, so it, it's only going to be sending to certain people or certain groups here's a suppression list you can use um, if you set that up as well as excluding list or excluding tags and once that's done you're going to click next 
and then you're going to quickly choose your uh, your subject name so this is going to be the subject line of the email and what I like to do is like right here there's like little emojis you can add and I find that these emojis really make the email stand out and so even though they're really small you can put like an emoji in here and say check out my new video review and then reply name and email this is what we set up at the beginning of the video I'm going to choose that here the from that was also set up and then the SMTP that we set up and then you can schedule it if you want I don't want to I'm gonna send it out Oh, I forgot I want to personalize this too I want to go back here in the subject personalize name and then check out my new video review and then we'll choose next and it's all ready to go we're gonna click send okay so after a couple minutes it got processed it got sent you can see right here open mail zero if I refresh this you're gonna see this is going to still say zero because it hasn't been opened yet and then what we can do is go into my Gmail account and you can see here the email that I just sent and it comes from vid society which is what we got set up Chris at vidsociety.com and you can see the little emoji we added here and it says check out my new video review and if we click it you're going to see this is the message that we wrote in here with the link that says check out my new video on YouTube which is clickable and so this is all there is to it you can see it got sent through my SMTP server here and everything got set up and worked perfect so this is how mail or max mails works it's a great alternative if you don't want to pay for a really expensive autoresponder service so uh, there's a lot of autoresponders out there and a lot of them can cost you a fortune over time because they're all based upon the number of subscribers that you get and they increase really fast as you get up there to a few thousand subscribers currently I'm using ConvertKit uh, just because of some certain tools that I wanted access to on that one and it's costing me $99 a month to have just 5,000 subscribers in that so there is a huge difference as to whether you want to subscribe monthly and pay you know $1,200 a year or whatever for an autoresponder service or starting off with something like this that is still going to give you the majority of those features and it's only going to cost you a one-time price now of course some of those upsells they do have reoccurring payments just be careful which ones of those that you select make sure it's something you're really going to use and all of those details will be below this video in uh, the link that you'll see there that'll take you to my website so be sure to go there check all those out and check out the bonuses you can pick up if you happen to buy it through my link so that's it for this max mails review I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, if you did please like this video subscribe to my channel or if you got questions leave them below and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can thanks